But what is air made of? You don't really think to breathe. Your respiratory system does that automatically for you. But do you ever think about what you are breathing? The air that we breathe is a mixture of gases. Water vapor, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, dust and smoke are some of the components of the air that we breathe. Water vapor. Water stays in air as vapor. We already know that. This vapor is more in some places than other. The amount of water vapor in air is called humidity. Humidity is an important part of the water cycle. Oxygen Oxygen is an important component of air. Most living things breathe oxygen to survive. The oxygen in the atmosphere that surrounds the earth is not equal. For example, there is less oxygen in the air at the top of the high mountains. Did you know that oxygen is even required for burning? Let's try out this little experiment to see how. Take a candle and fix it on a plate. Now light the candle. It will burn for a long time. Now cover the burning candle by an inverted glass. You will see that the candle will go off. The empty glass contains some air. When this little air is used up by the candle, it can no longer burn and blows out. This is because burning can occur only in the presence of oxygen. Oxygen is essential for life on Earth. We need more trees and plants in our environment to maintain the oxygen level in our atmosphere. Nitrogen About 78% of the air that we breathe is made up of nitrogen. Nitrogen is needed by living things to make new cells, but they cannot take it directly from air. Certain chemical processes are required to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into forms usable by living organisms. Carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide makes up a small component of the atmospheric air. Plants and animals take in oxygen for respiration and give out carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide and a few other gases are also produced when plant and animal matter burns. Carbon dioxide is an important atmospheric gas that helps to absorb the heat irradiated by Earth. But more carbon dioxide emitted by vehicles and industries is very bad for our atmosphere. We need to control pollution and plant more trees to maintain the carbon dioxide levels in the atmospheric air. Dust and smoke. Smoke contains a few gases and fine dust particles. It is produced when we burn fuel. The growing number of automobiles and industries in the world is producing more and more smoke that is harmful for living beings. Dust is always present in air. Have you observed a beam of light coming in through a small opening in the window or beams of light filtering through the trees? You see tiny shining particles moving in the beam of light.
This shows that air also contains dust particles. The presence of dust particles in air varies from time to time and from place to place. But then it means we are inhaling all this dust? Thankfully not. We have fine hair and mucus in our nostrils. These hair and mucus filter the air that goes in as we breathe, preventing the dust particles from entering into our respiratory system. So, we have learned that air contains some gases, water vapor and dust particles. But it's only nitrogen and oxygen that make up 99% of the air. The remaining 1% is carbon dioxide and a few other gases, water vapor and dust particles. Thank you.